so he's in pretty good shape for this fight. This is the Kotai Arena at the Venetian Macau, China. And his Kukun Ning, uh, he's a very popular fighter here. He's called the Macau Kid. He's from Macau, China. 7 and 0, 3 KOs, turned pro in Hong Kong in May of 2013, winning a majority decision over Nevis Gale. He won his last six fights right here in Macau. We saw him stop Mohammed Iman here about uh, a year ago. Since then, three more wins. As you take a look at the tail of the tape, well, there's a height advantage for Ning. Weight, no difference. Age, about the same. One year advantage for Ning. And the big difference is the reach advantage for pump edge twin gym three and a half inches so we'll see if he can take advantage of that unified rules of boxing here tonight 10 point must scoring system no standing eight count no three knockdown rule but it cannot be saved by the bell in any round only the ref can stop the fight in case of an accidental foul would explain that rule as it becomes pertinent so lupe Contreras is standing by to get this one underway so let's go to lupe to get this welterweight fight going Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the action here at Kotai Arena. Once again, proudly presented to you by Bob Aram's Top Rank Incorporated, along with Seika, La Cerveza Tecate Con Caracter, being broadcast worldwide on toprank.com and our host of Venetian Macau. This bout set for a limit of six rounds in the welterweight division. The three judges are Arni Nakira, Edward Ligas, and Sawaeng Tawikun. The man in charge. Surat Soikra Chang. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing blue trunks with white and red trim. When he stepped on the scale, he weighed in at an official 146 pounds and in eight bouts as a professional. He has six victories against two losses with three of those victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand. Pompe! Twins Jim! His opponent in the cross ring in the red corner, wearing pink and black with white trim. He weighed in at an identical 146 pounds, and he enters the ring. An undefeated professional with seven victories, three of those victories coming by way of Macau, representing Macau, China. The Macau Kid, KK, and Kwaku. So it was set to go as a referee, so like Rak Cheng uh, calls him in. Holding, bending, I say, stop, you stop. I say, babe, you want to step back and put it in your cell. Good luck, Tatkov. So it's set to go. This is scheduled for six rounds. Welterweight division with the Venetian Macau in China, the Kotai Arena here. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan, and you're watching TopRank.com as we stream to you live around the world. Glad that you can be with us. Now it's set to go. Kukuning decked out in the kind of pink, black, uh, and they look red on your screen, but they're actually pink and black. He's to the right of your screen, and to the left of your screen, in the blue trunks with the red trim, is uh, Pompech uh, Twins Jim. He's the uh, kid from Thailand. So here we go. Ning, very popular here. They call him the Macau Kid. Decent fighter. He boxes, he moves well. Jabbing, jabbing is Ning. Notice the Thai fighter fighting South Ball right now. No hold, no hold, no hold. Straight right hand for Eng. These are welterweights, and they both come in uh, just under the limit of 146 they came in at. The limit, of course, is 147 for welterweight. Is uh, Twins Jim switching around, fighting Orthodox now? That comes from his days as a uh, kickboxer in Thailand. They have a tendency to do that. The problem is when they switch back and forth, they get uh, squared up 
but quite often and it's a problem. Loads up the right hand, catches a bit of the ear thing. Nice shot downstairs, Feng. A lot of power. Quince Jim has uh, six victories, three KOs. Eng himself has uh, seven victories and three knockouts as well. So about the same power. Here he is back as Southpaw. Now he's back orthodox with the right foot forward. Now he's squared up with the right foot forward again as he fights uh, as a Southpaw. When he fights as a Southpaw, the front feet you have a tendency to get tied up, as you'll see. Backs off, slides around to his left, and this is when he has a tendency to get squared up, and that's when Eng has to let go of that right hand. Is that he jabs him with a couple of lefts. Can't figure out so far whether he's better as a south far or right-handed fighter is uh, Pumpich. Okay, pull, pull. Back comes uh, Twins Jim. Decent right hand jab by the uh, now southpaw Pompech. Good shot landed by Ang. That ends. I think you're going to give that round to Ang. Swung by him. Chan Lak Sang, Lam Kuk Wa, Leon Kin Fong, Chow Man Fat all work that corner. Cross away, Michael Doe. So we come up to round number two. We're scheduled to go six here at the Kotai Arena. These are welterweights. Kukuning, kicked down in the pink and black, and in the blue with the red is uh, Pompech Twins Jim. We could just call him Pompech. Round two. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan. Glad that you're going to be with us as we stream in toprank.com around the world. This is a Thai fighter trying to do something there in this very big ring, 24 feet. And that can play a big factor in the fights later on. Starts out left-handed. Now he switched to right-handed, trying to catch this guy. All that work he did, he didn't land anything. Here he is back southpaw again. Right foot's forward. He's southpaw. And as you see, where we had that wide shot on your screen, that when he well now he's back orthodox, but when the Right foot is forward. They have a tendency fighting the orthodox fighter in a name to tie that the front foot up. Hasn't been a problem thus far. Now Pompech hanging that left hand down, which is an inviting sight for Ning to throw his right hand. He's going to slide off that right shoulder to be in position to let that right hand go to catch him. Here he's giving him a different look now as he switches, drops one hand. In the middle again in the switch and he gets nailed with an uppercut. That's why I don't like guys switching back and forth unless they train that way. It looks like Pumpetch does train that way, but you know, find your side and stick to it. The one exception that I can think of is Terence Crawford, who's been extremely successful fighting either south or right handed. Little less than a minute to go in round two here in the scheduled six round affair. Oh. 
These TIE fighters are very, very tough. Making a lot of technical mistakes, and Neng is taking advantage of it. Oh, nice right hand. That one's uh, got the perspiration flying up the head of Jim. No change of expression at all in the face of Ng when he landed the nice shot. Missed that big left hand that sailed up over the head of Jim. Thing is a couple of inches taller and has a, a shorter reach, which is unusual. It took it through, but not enough. That's Ng's round. Twins Jim, uh, his last fight out, fought in March. He was stopped uh, in the fifth round by uh, Josh King, an 18 and 3 fighter. As you take a look at this replay from the last round, that nice stiff jab, get caught in the switch, and then the uppercut caught him in the left hand behind it. And during that, he was switching his lead foot. And you really get cracked with that right hand. Hang woman. Hang woman. Kukuning, the Macau kid. Loves to fight at age 24. He's still a work in progress. On his last six Oops. fights right here in Macau. This is round three on toprank.com, streaming live around the world. That's something I haven't seen. <laughs> the ref uh, tells him, okay, you're holding too much, and then the two guys embrace. And right back at it they go. Good sportsmanship, and then they oh, no, they hold, hug each oh. other, and then they go back to battering each other's heads. Every time Ng does something good, being from Macau, the crowd hoots and hollers here. And a nice left hand landed. Pompech landed a decent right hand in there, but got no reaction out of the crowd. Ng, anything that he lands gets a nice reaction from the crowd. Well, you'd expect that. This is his own. Right now, Ng is just out boxing a kid from Thailand. Thai fighter fighting as a south bar again, tries to give it a little dipsy doodle left and right, reaches downstairs, catches him with a left hand, which would be the power hand if he had any power. job that time by Ng. Jab, jab, right hand. Oh, timed the right hand perfectly that time. Two nice left jabs again. The crowd comes to uh, attention here as they see Ng having another really good round here. I've got him winning the first two and he's out in front of you with uh, under a minute to go in the third round. Ting with the pink and black uh, facing you now. High fighter, pump pitch, twins gym. Blue trunks, red trim, left of your screen, switching back again. Fighting as a southpaw, and as I say that, he switches right back to right hand, and he gets nailed. Nice counter punching job by Ang on the inside there. Nice jab. Oh, tying the right hand perfectly again. Pompic uh, through the right hand, and then he was kind of extended out there, and man, hang right on top. Of him. That was Eng's best round of the fight, and he's won them all. I have it after three, 30-27 in favor of Eng. 
จี้อะดีอะต้นยกรู้เปล่าช่วงท้ายอย่าหลวมหมดก็มาเนี่ยไหวป่ะไหวนะมันไม่มีอะไรหรอกชี้ชิงก็แค่โฉเหยาการมีวนก็นี่เตะกระดาษห้องเขนจะเจ๋งสูงแค่ some massage they giving him take a look at the action there's that right hand Pompech missed the left hand, and he was just extended out there, and boom, he's landed with the right hand. Uh, Must be in decent condition to gobble that up. So we get ready to move to round number four. Uh, round four. Books. Round four, the guy with his back to the Macau Lobo. kid, Kukuneng. Pompech Twins Jim from Thailand in the blue with the red to the right of your screen, taking a little shoeshine punishment from Eng. Only a fight in the Thai fighter. He's a tough little kid, and things aren't going his way in this fight. Back and forth again, and he's get caught so many times in the switch. And the trading punch for punch, but the heavier punches are being landed by him now. Jab, jab, jab. Look at that. That four goal landed a couple of them anyway. Solid right hand, and that right hand is there for him. This is a right hand right down the middle. Again, the kid caught the switch between left hand and the right hand. And that'll happen to him all day. Seven and eight. He says he's okay. Caught with a nice uppercut. Ain't gonna like to finish him off now. No quitting the kid. And I'm talking about the kid from Thailand. He get caught with another uppercut there. And another uppercut. Down he goes. That's it. That one's too severe. And he is knocked out here in the fourth round with a nice uppercut. They stopped the count, so it'll probably be called as a TKO victory. But for all practical purposes, he knocked him out. Fourth round TKO. Doctors are in there. He was clipped with an uppercut, and then down the second time with the uppercut, and that's uh, all she wrote. As soon as we know he's okay, we'll show you some replays here. But that's a nice win for Kuku Ning. So the welterweights in the world, Floyd Mayweather, Junior Kell Brook, Manny Pacquiao, Amir Khan, of course, Tim Bradley, Keith Thurman, all these guys, as you take a look at this finishing shot now, the uppercut got things going. Boom, right there. And down he goes. The referee very quick to stop it when he saw the power of that uppercut. Boom, look at that hit snap. Just missed the right hand as he went down. This was the first knockdown. And really snapped. And that was the second one that finished the fight. He doesn't let his head crash down. Good job by the ref. Sai Cheng from the Thailand did a nice job with that. So let's see. He see how they call it. All right, Lupe Contreras is standing by, so let's go up and get the official particulars. Here's Lupe. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Surat Soikrai Chang called to halt to this contest with an official time of two minutes, two seconds of round number four. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, 
the Macau Kid, KK Nkwoku. So Gukuneng uh, gets the uh, hand up in the air with the fourth round technical knockout victory for all practical purposes. It was a knockout because uh, Pompech wasn't getting up. A nice victory for the Macau kid. So we'll take a look at how it all happened as the two fighters uh, came in there, round number one, and right away Ng uh, begins to take uh, a command from this kid who uh, comes to us from Thailand, switching back and forth, and uh, took a lot of the punishment. But in round three, uh, Ng really takes command as he lands some heavy shots here. And in the fourth round, a couple of knockdowns is the first one where he's hit with that right hand uppercut. And then a little bit later on in the round, he gets hit with a real severe uppercut again, where he got everything into it. Watch this, boom, right there. So quick with that right hand. And down he goes, and that's all she wrote for Pompech Twins, Jim. And Kuku Ning wins his eighth professional fight for this fourth knockout. More action to come here. Stay tuned. We're streaming live on toprank.com.